what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Remember the case of Shannon Kepler, the white police officer who was off duty when he killed his daughter's black boyfriend, 19-year-old Jeremy Kepler? Well, they finally got him. After four trials, they finally convicted him of manslaughter. It took four trials, y'all, and they still damn near didn't get him. Now, one of the big reasons they couldn't get him is because, first and foremost, he was a police officer. That's first and foremost. Secondly, the attorneys for the defense was accused of denying blacks the right to serve on the jury. In each jury, they only had one black person. One black person. Let me tell you something, y'all. Race matters in America. At the trial this week, Kepler testified that the reason he shot Jeremy Lake was because he was reaching for his waistband. He felt threatened. These were his words. He's bringing it, I'm bringing it. It was either him or me. I'm not going to stand there and get shot. This is somebody fighting for their life, but they're speaking in this type of tone. That lets you know he thought he was going to beat it one more time thought he could be his normal macho self, speak his mind, come from the heart, and still get acquitted. Also out of Tulsa, Oklahoma today, Robert Bates, the reserve cop who mistakenly say that he pulled his gun instead of his taser and killed an unarmed black man, was freed today after serving only 16 months of a only four-year sentence. Served less than half of his sentence. Took a life. Let me tell y'all something. White cops are not afraid of black men. Let's get that straight once and for all. They're not afraid. They are burdened by generational racism. And they have very little value for black life. And many of them get a thrill, a sick thrill from taking black life. That is the truth. And they're protected when they get that cheap thrill. Because they can have that thrill, they could want that thrill all they want, but if they were being prosecuted, brought to justice or whatever, street justice or whatever kind of justice, that shit will stop overnight. But there's no penalty, a very little penalty for taking black life. So this is why they do it. The reason why people don't rob banks is not because they have some type of high moral standards. It's because they don't want to go to jail. If the average person thought they could walk into a bank and grab a bag and walk out, they do it. But they don't want to go to jail. That's why they don't do it. So these cops don't have a deterrent. There's nothing there to deter them, to make them want to say, you know what? I feel this way. I want to take his life. But I'm not going to because I don't want to go to jail. I'm not going to because 
I don't want to get popped up. I'm not going to because I don't want somebody on the streets to take the law into their own hands. That's why they continue to do what they do. It took four trials. First of all, these guys very seldom, a police officer very seldom gets convicted for anything let alone a murder, let alone the murder of a black person. You know he was rolling with that oath that they have. Man, black, I, I take his life, man. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing gonna happen. You know, he's probably totally connected throughout Tulsa. Probably know the judges, all the lawyers, police union connected with all the cops. It's like, man, I'm he probably in his mind already, he premeditated that murder. He didn't like the fact that his daughter was loving on a black man. He didn't like the fact that black man was loving on his daughter. And he killed him. Now they say that the daughter said that the black guy reached out to shake his hand. And he pulled out a gun and gunned him down. That's the story. And that's the story I tend to believe. You can look at him. You can tell the way he act. He real arrogant. Listen to the way he talk. Even look at the scowl on his face when he was being uh, photographed. I'll leave y'all with this. If the black boyfriend had gunned down the off-duty officer for any reason, even if it was justifiable, it would have taken only one trial to convict him of murder. This ex-cop, he can't be trusted. You could tell he's lying. He changed the story a number of times. He used the same old excuse. You got two main excuses that they use. I fear for my life. I thought he was reaching for a gun. That's that thing. Well, it didn't work this time. The dude is evil personified. I can see why his daughter ran away. Hey, Kip, don't drop the soap. No more talk. What, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.